Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing my makeup collection and storage and I thought I should probably just do like a little disclaimer at the start. Um, I'm not in any way trying to brag. Um, I personally love makeup collection and storage videos so I just thought that I'd make my own. Um, so yeah, all of the makeup has been bought with my own money um, or been gifted to me from family and friends so weird going on here and um, I just want to show you how I organize my makeup because um, it's something that I take pride in I like having everything neat and tidy so um, I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you in my next one so I thought I'd start by showing you my kind of setup um, this shelf here this is from Ikea this is the Alex shelf with two drawers and um, I'll link this down below um, where you can find where to buy that. This mirror, I have no idea where it's from. Um, I've had it in my family for a long time, um, but I painted the outside of it white. It used to be silver, but before that I think it's been a million different colours. Um, the acrylic storage, this is from Muji. I have that on both sides. And over here, this chair, this is also from Ikea. And behind this, um, the blacks of filing drawer kind of thing. Um, I'm not sure originally where that's from. It was green. Um, I got it secondhand and painted it myself with matte black paint. Um, but I'll link something similar down below. I think IKEA do something close to that as well. So this first little area here, um, I have these plastic drawers from Muji. My little clock that's from IKEA, along with the plant pot that keeps my brushes. And this little tub here is from Asda. And I keep my cotton pads in there. So in the bottom drawer here I kind of keep random things, um, I have my watch, I also have lots of product samples, um, so I have a lot from Origins here and then I have a lot of sort of these samples you get free when you purchase things from like Space and K or something like that. In the top drawer I keep mostly like lip crayons, um, any kind of chubby stick style thing, um, so I have some of the Clinique chubby sticks over here. Um, I have a lot of these Revlon, what are these called, like the Revlon Colorburst Matte Balms and the other ones which are like the Balm Stains, I really like those. Um, I have the Gosh Lip Pencils, one from Maybelline, some from Bourjois there, uh, Soap and Glory. And then in the back um, I keep lip liners, mostly from MAC or Sleek. Um, and they live in the back there. In this tub here, this is where I keep my makeup brushes. Um, most of them are Real Technique, uh, Eco Tools, some from MAC, um, but nothing really exciting. Pretty much they're all just Real Techniques because I love Real Techniques and I think they're the best brushes um, for an affordable price. So in this first drawer here, this is where I keep some of my everyday skincare bits and pieces. I'll show you it really quickly. Um, I have some of my cleansers of choice. So I have the Ren Clear Calm Clay Cleanser. I have the Clinique, um, the Balm Cleanser. My toner, which is the Mario Badescu Cucumber. I have some hair oil from Wella. The Garnier Micellar Water. Some deodorants from Mitchum. Um, some lip balms. And then I have my day cream and night cream which are from Origins and also just some other serums and bits and pieces like that, nothing too exciting. There's a few things that I actually keep on my dressing table. I have the Guerlain Meteorite Pearls, I think I'm saying that right, um, some hand cream from Molten Brown and then my MAC Fix Plus. Just some of the essentials. So this little area here is probably my favourite area of my whole makeup collection and storage sort of situation. It's where I keep all of my lip products. Um, so I have all of my MAC lipsticks here. I did do a MAC lipstick collection video so I'll link that down below if you want to see. Um, I try them all on. Um, I keep a little cactus here too. Um, and I keep some of my other favourite lipsticks. So I keep some of my other favourite lipsticks here. I have some of the new Clinique Pop lipsticks. These are really nice and moisturising. Um, I have a couple from YSL. Um, I have the Benefit Lolly Balm and Bene Balm. Um, I have a Dior lipstick here, um, one from Urban Decay and this one from NARS, which I recently got. 
a few things that live on the top here. I have the remote for uh, my dock for when I play my music. I have my Olo clip, which is like a, a lens for your iPhone camera. And then I have some jewelry here as well. So here I have um, my things from the Max Cinderella collection. Um, I do use them, I just like to put them back in the packaging and it's so pretty that I just kind of like to have them on display. I also have my Turquatic from MAC, the perfume roller ball, which is really nice. It's mainly like lip glosses, bits and pieces. Um, I have this one out today, this is the one I'm wearing. This is from Smashbox. This is the Limitless Longwear Lip Gloss in the colour for Keeps. So I'll leave that out so I can touch up. Um, I have some Maybelline baby lips, um, a Rimmel lipstick, a couple of the Maybelline, I think they're colour sensationals. Um, I have a few lip glosses from MAC, Haviva Glam Nikki, and then this one that I got the other day which is from the Wash and Dry collection. It's called Domestic Diva, it's really nice. Um, a Topshop lipstick, a Burt's Bees thing, um, some Maybelline lip glosses, and then this weird one from Maybelline that I actually didn't really enjoy. And then just a couple of other like lip glosses and things in the back. I also have one of these Carez things which is nice. And then in the bottom um, I have some of the Revlon lip bars. I think I have four of them in total. Um, these Rimmel Apocalypse which are really nice. Um, the Bourjois velvet things, the liquid lipsticks. And then I have a bunch of the NARS um, velvet matte lip pencils. My so in this drawer I keep kind of like a random bunch of things, either things that I'm using a lot um, or things that I'm trying out. So kind of everything in this drawer kind of changes quite frequently. Um, in this side I have sort of eye things, so I have a mascara from Lancome, I have my MAC eyeliner, um, I have like Clinique Chubby Stick, um, this by Terry Ombre Black Star, which is amazing. And just like other bits and pieces, like eyeliners and just kind of all that good stuff. Uh, this sort of section here is where I keep more sort of everyday things. Um, so I have my NARS powder, uh, my MAC loose powder, um, some eyebrow things, uh, some concealers. Um, I just got this one yesterday from Urban Decay and it's actually really nice. I have like my primer, um, just kind of like bits and pieces I use like pretty much every day. I do like concealer. Oh by the way these little containers are from Muji as well. Um, it's kind of again a bit random. I have this eyeshadow palette from NARS. This is um, the God Created the Woman palette. It's really really nice. Um, I have Benefit Hervana. I have these new eyeshadows from Seventeen, which I'm trying. Um, some eyelash curlers, my Mac Pearl Cream Color Base because I use that a lot, and then um, my favorite blush, which is from Hourglass. This is in the color Diffused Heat. It's really, really nice. It's like a peachy pink, but it's on the cheeks. This section here, um, I have a Bobbi Brown highlighter. This was from the collect uh, Christmas collection last year. It's called Pink Glow. It's really, really nice. Um, I have an hourglass powder, um, a blush from the Mac Simpsons. I think that's Max Light Scapade highlighter in the back there. Um, I keep my Real Technique sponge, which needs cleaned. Um, my favorite bronzer, this is from Erin. Um, Erin is a brand of like a sister brand of Estee Lauder. This is the Kaleidolite palette, it's really really nice. And then I have some palettes that I use every day, so I have my Too Faced chocolate bar. And then I also have uh, two MAC palettes in there too. So on the top of this drawer organizer thing, I keep all of my perfumes. Um, this one's from Fossil, which is really nice. My favorite, which is Bon Bon from Victor Rolf. I have a few from Marc Jacobs and there's some body sprays and bits and pieces there as well. Um, this mirror is also from Ikea. So that's that mirror, I really like it. I use it if I'm filming like makeup tutorials or anything like that. So in the top drawer of this sort of file organizer cabinet, this is where I keep most of my stuff um, for my face. So I have all my foundations in here, 
Um, it's a Clinique Tinted Moisturiser, a MAC one. My all-time favourite foundation is Giorgio Romani Luminous Silk. I also really like Urban Decay Naked Skin. Um, there's a Rimmel, a L'Oreal True Match, it's really nice in there as well. And then in here I have my Bare Minerals, um, the Mineral Foundation, along with some primers. So Maybelline, um, Clinique, there's Clarins and bits and pieces in there too. Um, again, if you're wondering, these plastic organizers, these are from Muji and they're really nice because they're quite shallow so they fit in these drawers really well. Um, this drawer, this is where I keep all my blo- my blo- This drawer here, this is where I keep all my blush, bronzer and highlight. So in here um, is all of my blushes. So there's like a few from MAC in here. Um, Benefit. There is a cream blush from Josie Moran. MUA, Clinique. Um, one of those Clinique flower things. <laughs> uh, Max Factor, these are really nice actually. Tarte, uh, Topshop, Stila, just like a whole bunch of things. I'm not really fussy, I'm also a really big blush hoarder, so there's that too. And then the other side is highlight and bronze, so I have my minis of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors. Um, there's Benefit High Beam in there. The 17 Skin Wow, um, the 17 like shimmer brick things, that Urban Decay highlighter, some from MAC, a Body Shop bronzer which is really nice, and a bronzer from MAC, and just like various bits and pieces, I don't discriminate, you know. This is probably like the least organised drawer, um, it's where I keep sort of like my eye things that aren't like palettes, um, so mainly like loose eyeshadows, so there's like Illamasqua, um, have like some Urban Decay eyeshadows. These are Dainty Doll eyeshadows, these are really nice. Some MUA, I have a bunch of paint pots from MAC, uh, Makeup Forever, some of the Clinique Chubby Sticks for eyes, ones that aren't in my everyday drawer. Uh, eyeliners from MAC, some of the Barry M, like the, what is it called, like the Dazzle Dust, the glitters that they do. Um, just like various bits and pieces in that bit and then in here I keep more sort of like pigments so I have all of the L'Oreal infallible eyeshadows these are really nice I have uh, four pigments from MAC and then I have all of my bare minerals like loose eyeshadows in there section this is kind of random it's just like bits and pieces for eyes so I have like a lime crime eyeliner a NYX jumbo eye pencil um, like a glitter liner from collection um, some of the Rimmel scandalized these like wet paint style bits and pieces so that all just kind of lives in there. The next drawer is where I keep all my palettes. Um, so I have the NARS blush palette, it's really nice. Um, I have all of the Urban Decay Naked palettes including Naked Basics 1 and 2 in there. Um, I have a Makeup Revolution blush palette which is nice. Um, Clarins, Soap and Glory, a few of the Sleek palettes, uh, just like random bits and pieces. Um, this other palette from Makeup Revolution which is really nice. This Makeup Revolution palette is so nice. I love all the colours in there. Um, there's some from like Inglot and some like drugstore, like high street palettes in there as well. And the last one I'm going to show you just kind of has like eyelashes and bits and pieces in it. Uh, my favourites are the Revlon Beyond Natural, the defining ones, um, the Ardell Demi Whiskies, uh, like Girls All Out or whatever. Um, and I also got a bunch of these that I got really cheap so I use those. And then I just have some like extra makeup brushes in the back, not that I really need any but I have them anyway. So that's it for my makeup collection and storage. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can now see my totally dodgy lighting, um, but it works. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you soon. Bye.